Yo, what's up guys, SCM here, and today I am showing you guys my custom Miles Morales minifigure from Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Now, this is actually my third version of this figure, um, but uh, it has been like over a year since I last showed a custom of this figure, so I think it's about time to show this one, um, and this is, I think... A lot better than my previous two versions um, when I first made my uh, first two versions I was kind of new to making customs but now I've gotten a lot better at it and I think this one is really good so yeah let's get into it okay so this figure is um, it's one of my um, it's a lot more simple than a lot of my other customs but that doesn't mean it's bad um, and I think it's quite accurate to the movie. Um, so yeah, it's way more accurate than uh, my last two versions of this figure. Um, so he's got his big red spider logo there on his chest with the circle around it. And um, he's kind of got these like, I don't know what to call it. Um... He's just got like these blue line details um on his torso and on his hips there um because he does have that in the movie um but it's kind of hard to see um but yeah um his arms have got nothing on them um so they're pretty um basic um his head I think looks really accurate to the spider verse version of miles um then his legs are almost plain but at the bottom of his feet he's got like um red lines that go all the way around uh to the back then he's got these um red lines that are coming down onto his legs um in the movie these are also on his torso but i don't paint on my torsos because i like to keep my figures relatively um you know similar to real lego figures obviously mine are a lot more detailed than lots of lego figures but i still like to keep them um just like regular mini figures um but yeah He's got those red lines on his legs, and he's got them on the other side. Um, so yeah, I think uh, they look pretty good. Then the back, um, there's nothing special. He's just got um, another spider logo there at the back with more blue lines. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Um, there's not a lot else to say about this figure, but I think it's a lot better than my previous two versions of this figure. And, yeah, I think it's really, really accurate. Okay, so, uh, that's it for this showcase. Overall, I'm really proud of how, uh, I'm really proud with how this figure turned out. I think it looks really accurate to the movie. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop it a like because it really helps out my channel and it helps out my YouTube algorithm. And um, if you want to see more content just like this, then make sure to subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to upload as much as I can now. So yeah, anyways, with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.